guys and welcome to the science class. Today we're going to be talking about erosion. To start talking about the erosion, let me tell you that the crust of the earth is constantly transforming because of internal and external geological processes. The internal processes are those that happen within the lithosphere, such as uh, um, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. External geological processes, on the other hand, are produced by factors on the Earth's surface, like wind, water, and human activity. An example of an external process is erosion, in which soil is worn down by water, wind, and human activity. We have two types of erosion, the natural and the anthropic erosion. Let's start with the natural. So let's start with the natural erosion and the first one is the fluvial and this is when drain drops impact the soil and wash out the particles on the surface. Now fluvial erosion occurs when rivers and groundwater currents wear out the soil. The water washes out the soil into lakes and oceans. Now the glacial erosion uh, is produced when huge masses of ice move because of the force of gravity. As they move, they wear away the ground underground them. Ice is able to profoundly modify the surface of the ground. Now let's talk about wind erosion. So wind wears away at rocks and blows off particles which are transported by the wind and deposited in a new place. This type of erosion is much less intense than those related to water. Let's talk about now anthropic erosion. This is caused by humans and as you can see on the right hand side, planting crops on hills or slopes uh, can wash out the minerals that are in the soil. Also, on the video on the left hand side you can see that placing too many animals in the same grazing field can result in the field losing the ability to re regenerate grass and other plants. Some other ways of entropic erosion can be eliminating vegetation on forest floors mechanically, chemically, or by fire. Also, the regular occurrence of forest fires in the same place can be a cause of um, entropic erosion. Let's talk about the consequences of anthropic erosion. So in places with abundant vegetation like here we have on the left hand side, there is less erosion. This is because the roots of the plants help retain the soil particles. Whereas here, logging for wood or to make agricultural fields make erosion worse because it allows the ground to be worn away by rain and wind. Here. As you can see, building canals to transport water from rivers or artificial irrigation can make some areas very dry and flood others. Let's focus now on this part. And soil that is used for intensive agriculture deteriorates quickly because the same crop is usually planted over and over again, as you can see in these crops, in this small field. Now look at these machines and what they do is that they compact the soil 
and makes it um, less porous. Remember that those holes and pores that the soil is supposed to have very important for um, uh, uh, small living things like microorganisms, bacteria, fungi. And uh, last but not least, let's talk about the land used for animal. That remember that they are grazing, right? And this deteriorates because the animals trample or they step on the ground, right? Making it hard and compact. So we are finished with the science class and I'm sure that you are as happy as this kid because you are finally going to holidays. Thank you very much guys for attending the classes and I shall see you soon guys. Take care. Goodbye.